what's up everybody it's your boy dj fanatic from djfanaticbeats.com and of course soundsforproducers.com as well um if you didn't know um i'm actually putting this video on both of my channels um if you frequent my dj fanatic beats channel your artist um your rapper you know rapper sing or whatever um you know i have another channel actually i said that backwards my bad long day if you're a producer and you've been watching my dj fanatic beats uh youtube channel you can go to my sounds for producers youtube channel i got a lot of beat tutorials uh production techniques a lot of new interviews with other producers and artists as well so artists you might want to peep that because i did interview some people that did both you know that was an artist and um producers just giving you value and things you can grow from and really good conversations so um, for my DJ Fanatic Beats channel, of course, I'm always like posting me doing like, uh, what do you call it? Like cookups or whatever, me in the studio, uh, doing the beat and stuff like that. And also like, you know, just different things, um, beat videos and stuff like that. So, and I'm looking to do some other content, but anyway, subscribe to either of the channels. Definitely show me some love. I really appreciate it. And for all my new subscribers, thank y'all, man. I, I see y'all really appreciate it. Because I put a lot of effort into it. So speaking of effort, I managed to get this video. You're looking at the screen. Um, and this is actually the first video I put up my two logos. It's crazy. I got the Sounds for Producers logo. I can't see it on this screen. But it's probably, I think it's on the, this side. And the other one's on that side. The DJ Fanatic Beast is on the left. But um, anyway, I thought I'll share this with you. Because this is the final day I have my djfanatic.com website. Um, it's a website that I started probably, man, close to maybe, it had to be at least 12 years because I was checking the email inbox, which I should have done again, but it goes so far back that, um, man, it goes way back. Like, I think it was like, I don't know, a little bit after 2000. So maybe Oh three or four or whatever, but I had this site for so long and today is the last day that it'll be here on um, the company down here powered by dynamod um they're actually discontinuing the service and it's basically like a portal and a cool way for creatives to um, have a website really quickly but there's so many other companies now that do it i know wix does it um what's the other one there's a couple of them and of course i still own the domain but the site is actually going away so it's funny to see it because i rarely went back to it and updated it. So I thought I'll do a random video of me going through it and just kind of showing y'all because I was very ambitious. I still am, but um, as a DJ, I was like, yo, I need a website. And this website actually made me a lot of money, a lot of gigs, and it, you know, it got me out there. And over time, if I kept, it up, kept up with it, I think it really would have pushed itself even more, but I ended up you know, kind of letting it go. And I also, you know, use other services at the time I was using like Craigslist and, um, gigs, gig master, like other things for like DJs and artists to get certain gigs, like creative gigs. I also, um, did a contract with wedding wire, uh, for a year actually that just ended. And, um, I was looking into some other things, but now this site is done. So let's just kind of I'm going to go through this and just laugh a little bit. Let me see if this actually goes to my Facebook page. I'm really scared. Oh, it does. So it goes to my official oh, DJ Fanatic Beats uh, Facebook page. So for my artists and whatnot, if you want to check that out, you can go to my Facebook page and see all this. <laughs> it wants me to log in to look at my own whatever. Yeah, I do a lot of different posts, me doing cookups and my wife beater and actually um, some sounds for producers interviews and a lot of current artist stuff going on and music stuff. Of course, you got Childish Gambino official releases new album. Oh, I forgot he did that. Um, this was me actually DJing live on the BeatStars platform. Shout out to the BeatStars fam. And um, yeah, it's kind of dope. And on my sounds for producers and maybe on this channel as well, uh, there's a link for... Um, uh, beat stars for a free month so check that out uh, so let's jump back to here and let's see if this goes to my twitter yo it actually goes to my twitter uh it's crazy these links actually work uh let's see if it goes to my youtube i'm scared oh these are actually working that's good 
YouTube takes a little longer to open. Probably because, well, I'm not on YouTube right now. Yeah, see, that's to subscribe, and that's what you need to do. Click that sub button. Um, also, my bad. Let's close that. That's one of my beats I made. And let's try SoundCloud. Let's see if that opens my SoundCloud. Awesome. All these were still good, so I'm happy about that. So, uh, let's enter it. This was like built on like a flash thing, so let me see what, uh, hold on, let me check something. Cool. Um, so, it's based on f like a f Adobe or whatever. See Adobe Flash plugin? It needs to be installed to see all the fanciness, so I can just do the HTML version. And hopefully it'll open for y'all. Because this video would be super short if it doesn't. There it is. So this is my <laughs> DJFanatic.com. This is mainly for gigs and weddings and, you know, private parties and birthdays and stuff. There's me doing a lot of college parties. Um, I made sure I saved a lot. of That was a wedding I did. Uh, a lot of memories, man. I, I did probably, man, it had to be over like 500 gigs I've done. It's insane. And um, it's like memory lane looking at this. You know, I was a lot younger there. My nice suit, man. Hey, happy couple. And that actually was my aunt's 50th. Went up to New York. That was dope. They had a really cool cake, too. Got a little picture on there. That's awesome, man. Oh, he went to Hampton University. I remember that was a co-worker's son. He was getting it man he loved to dance he was like the only person dancing for like the last hour and i just kept kept the the songs going that was a fancy cake there's me at some nightclub wearing my fedora crazy and if you notice that microphone had some dents in it like it's been dropped a billion times that's me posing in front of two maseratis that was a, a nice drunken night this was a wedding i'd done <laughs> Everyone's like so sweaty in that. Look, look at the shirt on the left. <laughs> yeah, man, I was killing it. Yeah. It's good to see people enjoy themselves, you know. And I'm able to bring that energy to perfect strangers, you know. People are like, yo, do you do this for a living? Hell yeah. You know, I'm blessed. There's me posing, you know, while doing some fanciness. Uh, I believe, yeah, I'm sure. That was a, uh, yeah, same night. Oh, look at a little baby over there in the ride. I didn't even notice the baby was there. Got the uh, bridesmaids having fun. There's the bride. And all these connections, you know, you make over time. I'm not going to bore you to death going through all these pictures. So let me just scan through a bunch of them. Oh, that shore is not even like that anymore. That's in Old Town, Virginia. It's a really nice area. But they actually changed this whole shore. Crazy. And that's my MacBook. And it's still running. Actually, I used it last night. Um, Well, a couple nights ago. And this thing is a beast. Steve Jobs, you made amazing products, man. Uh, it's not Skull Candy headphones. Those broke keep going through some of these more college parties that was a private party there is my setup uh, another college party college party college party yeah same party yeah they were having a blast it, the contract would, took forever to get through but once it got paperwork was straight I told them man you know make make your paperwork straight so that way you know you're not giving me a headache but it was dope I wore that purple shirt. I don't know what I was thinking. That's some artwork I've done. This was some fancy weddings. Actually, I really think that's one of my... Yeah, one of my co-workers' weddings. That was a beautiful wedding. Yeah, shout out to everybody, man. Line dances. You know we gotta do line dances. She's killing those heels doing the line dance. That's me at, actually at a restaurant, Blackfin, uh, figuring out their setup and doing something real quick after work. That was a good night. 
blurry pictures. But it's kind of cool to see all these. So let me just get through these real quick. Give you like a little backstory. And notice these cool speakers on the left and right. Just thought I'll kind of incorporate, you know. And usually music plays. I don't know why it's not. Probably because it's not the Flash version. It's funny because like, oh yeah. <laughs> this was a Sweet 16 I did. And they wanted nothing but hardcore rap. And <laughs> I just felt really awkward about it. You know, the pay was good, but I just felt really strange about just playing hardcore trap music to, um, you know, um, she was 16, Caucasian, and her dad was just like, go ahead, play whatever. And it was, they was just cursing and the N-word. It was just, it was awkward. And I went to a party after that, too, and probably fell asleep. No, I stayed up and then fell asleep. <laughs> Uh, there's my studio back then. Yeah, look how much it's grown. It doesn't even look like that anymore. That's crazy. I'm sure I saved that picture. That's the party I went to after the six, Sweet 16. So, yeah, two parties in the same night. That was dope. Oh, I was featured at was it Bayside Bride. So it was a cool um, venue. Those are the speakers I had. And that's that bass side. That's what I used to use. Uh, I randomly threw in a picture of my MPC for my producers. You know what that is. That's actually the MPC 5000. And there's some artwork I did. There's me. La Fontaine Blue. That was a nice venue. I wonder if it's still around. I had like a lot of big rooms in there. And they were getting down, man. This person, actually, this is so random. This is at the Buffalo Wing Festival. Peep my shirt, though. That's crazy. Gone but not forgotten. I have um, Ray Charles, uh, Richard Pryor, Luther Vandross, uh, Levert, and also um, Sanford. Sanford and Son and other Levert down here. And I think there's another one down here. I think it was James Brown. But this person, actually, um, Sonia. That's her name. And she's, um, I think her stage name is copperhead she is a um professional eater basically um i keep checking the time because i got a call in a few minutes um but yeah she's a professional eater and she does like eating contests like how many hot dogs that one was actually how many wings she could eat i think she ate close to a thousand wings <laughs> within a half an hour it's crazy what she can do and she beats people i think she won that day and if you want to look her up, yeah, look her up. Sonia Copperhead, I think. I think it's Copperhead or something with a snake. Just Sonia Snake or Sonia Copperhead or Cobra or something like that. But it's a funny story. I didn't know she'll be there. I saw her on stage just killing it. And I managed to get a picture with her after. But I knew her for years uh, prior to this because um, I knew her since way back when I was in high school. And I um, was working at Burger King, you know, and she was actually my supervisor at the time. So we kind of knew each other and uh, it was cool to run into someone I knew. So that was just a random picture I threw in there. These are some setups from some weddings. It's always cool to kind of get pictures of these because you never know. Like I like the quiet before the storm and like when no one's there and I'm there and I get to see how they decorated the place and I just admire stuff like that it's real cool Blue, uh, bubbles at the end that was cool yeah There's a. this was an interesting setup because I had a setup for downstairs and I had the speakers pointing upstairs and this whole area was open to where every, everyone else was sitting to eat that was kind of cool that was the dock in the back. I got a lot of pictures of this venue. I thought the van was kind of cool and the landscaping and whatnot. Everyone getting down again. Oh, this is a random club night where <laughs> everyone wanted to take pictures with me. It was crazy. Really nice people, though. They were like, yo, you want to take a picture? You want to take a picture? And here it is. This is just one random night. Really nice people. And that's me all the way up in the DJ booth looking down. This was a really cool wedding. There's a setup. This was actually, uh, what do you call those? 
not a bridal shower. I, um, what is that when you? It's a baby party or something. I forgot what he calls. But anyway, it was for someone that was gonna give birth. <laughs> that sounds so bad in this video. Um, not bridal shower. I, I always get them mixed up. And I'm gonna remember after this video. So put it in the comments and say, "Yo, fanatic, that's what it's called, bro." Uh, what is the name? Oh, I thought it was the name of my little one. Uh, let's see, random pictures, people saying what's up. I had that place packed that day. More random pictures. These are like huge parties I did for like colleges and stuff. Then I did some corporate stuff. Why am I going through all these pictures and a video on YouTube? Well, anyway, I know somebody's interested. There's me. And I had a little bit too much beer that day, but it was kind of cool. I don't even know what club that was. Where was I? That's crazy. Oh, okay. I know where I am. More models. These were actually um, hostess for this one spot. Hey, there's the website on the left. I spin, therefore I am. I thought it was kind of cool. Shirt, kind of philosophical in a way. And I remember her. She was a bartender. And this was the line to get into the club. Crazy, right? You get into this one club, and they were holding the line for something. I don't know. There was so much drama that night, and I was like, yo... As soon as you guys start letting people in, they're going to stampede in here. This is well over capacity. But that night was a long night and I had a lot of fun. Same picture, same picture. Uh, let's see, that's at another DJ gig. Look at my old boots. That's the NS7, I believe. Two? I don't remember. Random pictures of a private party. Oh, I actually wore a tie that night. That is another college party. I did a lot of college parties. I think that was it. Um, this was actually my turntable setup. I rarely brought this out because, you know, unless you're, you're, you know, high tier paying, you know, paid event, I'll bring out the turntables. And um, this is my gold setup. I had different colors. I would go ham. Uh, but I really like this setup. It's one of my favorites. That was me hanging out at this one spot. Nice sound system, that club. Jeez, that club was beautiful. This guy was getting it all night. I swear he's on something, but cool guy. There's me, serious face. Let's get through all this. That was interesting. Uh, that's a club that I had to climb all the way up the stairs to get to. Uh, up a ladder. It was like 40 feet in the air. And I had to, like, take turntables up there. I was like, who designed this place? It was such a, a hazard. There's me, hang, you know, doing my thing. Oh my thing again, that was a wedding. See, this is looking down. That's how high I had to climb up a ladder. I had a wedding. Oh, these bring back memories, man. Here's <laughs> I was super happy. There's my little blue setup. Weddings. That was Atlanta. Me being stupid. Uh cruise ship was getting it on same event there's some old artwork i did the super reggae mix <laughs> you can tell i was really creative back then <clears throat> some old pictures this venue was beautiful i need to go back there i think it was called temple or something that was so cool this is uh some nightclub stuff doing like hip-hop night and stuff there's me in the back making sure everything's legit that was a Halloween party. That was so much fun. That was another college night at Guapos. I wonder if Guapos is still around. That was at the City Grill, which is a nice venue out in, uh, I think, Northern Virginia somewhere around Woodbridge. That's me being silly, man. Uh, probably a long weekend and, you know, felt accomplished. And you, and you should, you know, because when you work hard, you got to play hard. 
Um, this actually was the and one. Remember and one basketball uh, tours? This was at one of the colleges. And they came to the college. I DJed there. Some artwork of me. People having a blast. I remember this dude. This dude always coming there really drunk. Hope he all right. That guy was in and out of jail. These are actually my roadies. Um, I'm not going to say their names on camera, but I've known them for years, and they always uh, look out. He was on um, the microphone a lot, and he would always get my drinks and be on the lookout. And supported me through all the years. There's me posing again at that Empire place. And I think you saw all these. Cool. So we went through all those. Hopefully you're still watching. Uh, of course, you got the contact thing. You, you know, if you send it right now, I might be able to check it way before midnight when this ends. This site is going away, by the way, if I didn't say that uh, tonight. So uh, clients and experience it's crazy to see this. What time is it? I got to go uh, Do universities, see all the universities, celebrity events. I did clubs and lounges, miscellaneous events. And it was cool. Uh, listen to mixes. I had a quick mix up here. I don't even know what that launches to. What does that launch to? It might be loud. I don't even know how to stop it, so. I'm not gonna hit play. About, you know, I got a little bio here you can read. And these are links. Check out my other site. So this goes to my DJ Fanatic beat. I'm scared. I'm not gonna click that. Um, here are my mixes. I had a Mixcloud account and YouTube and Twitter. So I think it goes to my Mixcloud. Yep, see? So I still have Mixcloud. I haven't did anything on it in forever. I need to update that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the wonderful DJFanatic.com website. Uh, this might be the least viewed video in my entire <laughs> career, but you know, it's all good. Just thought I'll share it, man, because it's been a part of me for at least a decade. And uh, I just remember building it. I had a lot more pictures and a lot more on here. Um, but I took it down and cleaned it up because I had just, you know, way too much b buffoonery on here. Because, <laughs> you know, the life of a DJ, sometimes you just, you know, work too hard. And I don't know. I just had way too many pictures on here. I had like a thousand pictures. And some of them just were inappropriate, you know, for the site. You know what I mean? Because I had like model I had like I did a stripper party and I had strippers on here and everyone's like, yo, why is that all on your page? You know, so I was just putting way too much up here, but and what else? Oh yeah, yeah. And then like there was like bar demonstrations and there's just too many liquor bottles on here, so I had to clean it up. So anyway, it's ending. You won't see it anymore. It's been a part of me, it served its purpose, and I may recreate another DJFanatic.com, but uh the producing um, actually is you know really taking the majority of my time and it's becoming a lot more successful so that's you know where my energy is going and of course with sounds for producers so again if you're a producer watching this or your artist and producer it's all good check out sounds for producers where I go over a lot of other things are related to production and music business stuff uh, this is mostly music for artists and just me express myself uh, through music so hopefully you enjoyed the video i gotta run um if you haven't subscribed please click the sub button click the bell as well if you have any comments about any of the crazy pictures i went through or you're a dj as well and you have some crazy stories or you're just a fan of djs or maybe you were like having fun because the dj was really good and then you asked the song let me know what song you asked for anything put it in the comments let me know and again appreciate the love y'all peace and love click the bell Click the sub button, give it a thumbs up, enjoy life.